I'm so attracted to Jesus Christ. There are so many things I learned from Jesus Christ. Sometimes I wonder what makes him so attractive to me. His sacrifices are the most attractive things to me. If someone asked me what is the most beautiful thing in the world, my answer would be sacrifices are the most beautiful thing. You know the people I love the most have done so many sacrifices for me. My mom, my dad, my friends, but the more sacrifices they make, the more I'm attracted to them. Sacrifice is the most beautiful thing in the world. And today we are celebrating the solemnity of the body and blood of Jesus Christ. In other words, the feast of Corpus Christi. When Jesus Christ came into this world, before he left this world, he gave his own body and blood for us. I have thought about why he chose the body and blood. There are so many images he used in his lifetime in his stories, in his parables, in his speeches. He used a lot of images, but why? But why his very body and blood? That is the perfect image because when we were in our mother's womb, we all received everything we needed from the body and the blood of our mother. And that's how we survived the very beginning of our life. From the conception until birth, we received everything we need from the body and blood of our mother, without which we cannot survive. And when it comes to our spiritual life, what other image that Jesus will use? Holy Mass challenge you. Holy Mass challenge you in many ways. You know, when we begin the Mass, Holy Mass challenge you to reconcile. The priest asks you, encourage you to say sorry. How difficult to say a genuine sorry. And we have experienced a genuine sorry can change our life. During the Mass, many times we, we learn about selfless love, we learn about forgiveness, we learn about giving. At the very end, the priest says one more thing, go and announce the gospel, which means whatever you've seen here when we celebrate the body and blood of Jesus Christ, whatever you've seen, whatever you heard, whatever you are inspired, go and do the same out in your family, in your community, wherever you go. And that is a challenge. So that is why I personally believe Holy Mass is a challenge. As a priest, I'm so privileged at communion time. I, I come down with the Holy Eucharist in my hand. I distribute the very Holy Communion. And I say, the body of Christ. And someone who is next in line come and I say the same thing, body of Christ, and body of Christ, body of Christ, and so on. And someone who stands beside me who serves the blood of Christ say the same thing. This is the blood of Christ. This is the blood of Christ. We receive the body and blood and you go to the pews. And I come back to the altar. Now I'm looking at the pews and there are so many people sitting there um, from different culture, uh, from different social status. Everyone, no matter how unique you are, no matter how different you are, you have received from the very body and blood of Jesus Christ. We all became one. So when we come to celebrate Holy Mass, that is the biggest challenge we all face. We all are called, in, in spite of all of our differences, uniqueness, we are all called to become one. So becoming one is our challenge, it's our mission, and that is the message of Corpus Christi Feast Day. May God bless you.